we use a model for this um, where we have kind of break up the type of work we're going to do into three categories. There's the expected, right? So that's just something that's going to be ever changing as the markets change, right? So like, okay, uh, X product has this, this, you know, and we don't. So now's the time. It's just something that's expected or, you know, but then they're also uh, improvements. So that's the second category. And that's things where, okay, we may have delivered something already and we just want to keep iterating on it based on feedback and things of that nature. And then there are the third category, which is delighters in a sense, where it's just like those things that people didn't know that they needed. And uh, and our job is to, you're describing our job, by the way, which is to like categorize all this kind of stuff and, and, and figure it out, which is to really understand the needs of the of the people uh, that are using our product, especially the target markets, which, you know, can shift, uh, um, over time, but you know, we, we have a pretty good eye on and beat on, on what that is right now. Um, and really understanding why. So for the expected and the improvements, um, we, we kind of know, you know, what's going on, but a big part of what Daniel's job too, is like looking at the larger trends and trying to feed that to us and the development team to try to understand how we can um, target pro certain problem areas and stuff like that. But that's like the model in which we look at things and really understanding the why is, is super important around when somebody says they have a problem, they say, okay, because I want to do this. And that helps us want, like find patterns to really do those delighters, which can really set the product apart from other things.